Okay, we're on our way to the Selma Mansion. Yeah, I'm really excited. noticed was all these drawers and cabinets because I thought they were really cool and they were all closed and I turned and looked at Mark and I turned back around and I watched this cabinet open. No, I was just in this room earlier filming so I'm going to go back and see if that was open. Mm. See, you can't hold it there though. Yeah. That would have to latch. I thought I saw this door open when we came in here the first time so we went back to look at the footage that Dave just took and you it just was took, it was and closed. it was closed uh -huh. and when I was checking it to try to debunk it I wanted to see if I could prop it without latching it or anything and I couldn't do it so I latched it and I know I latched it this time mm -hmm. and as we were watching the footage to see if it was closed which it was it just opened in front of us again you go ahead Okay, we're at the Selma Mansion in Norristown, Pennsylvania, and we're with Steve here from uh, Pups Paranormal Investigators. Uh, Steve, you want to tell us a little bit about your experiences here at the mansion? Selma Mansion, uh, it's, it's pretty remarkable. Our first investigation was May 30th, 2011, starting in the basement, running EVP sessions. When we got to this room, it was around 1 a.m. and we were asking some particular questions. Who lived in here? You know? Well, after reviewing evidence, uh, we knew Miss Fornance lived in this vault. She passed on and this was her last room that she lived in. She was bedridden in here. Mm -hmm. We did get a noise that sounded like a buzzer. We did review audio and also got a few disembodied voices uh, downstairs. One being, um, I asked, well, why are you still here? Mm -hmm. And we got an intelligent response saying, I'm dead. So they okay. basically knew they were dead. Okay. How long have you been with PUPS? Pups? I've been with Pups uh, since July of this okay. year. Have you had any paranormal experiences with them? The bells up there um, will ring just randomly. Um, We've had EVPs and different voice phenomena, but the bells are, are really good. They'll just ring. Well, where exactly were you when you heard them? I was actually up in Mrs. Fernandez's room. Yeah, you'll just be up there and you'll hear the bells like she's calling for help, I guess. Okay, I'm at the uh, Selma Mansion in Norristown, Pennsylvania with Dawn and Joe. And I'd like you to tell me a little bit of experiences you've had here in the past. Everybody went out for a break. I came up to the, the room that's across this way. There was a geophone sitting right here on the floor. So I stepped near it and made sure it was still working. Uh, went across the hall to get my stuff. Uh -huh. And I noticed it was strobing again. And I turned around and it one stop. I kind of yelled, hey, uh, who's over there? You know, and nobody answered. And then I still heard everybody talking downstairs. And it stopped and uh, started gathering my things and it was going off again. Wow. And I almost yelled, Bobby, you know, because I freaked out. And, um, so it freaked you out. Oh, yeah. And oh, this time it wouldn't stop. My wife and, we saw and Lisa it. saw a shadow over here. And it had bobbed here. Yeah.
Uh, this is the servants quarters, third floor. See if there's anyone in this room. Is anyone in the room with us? What we have on the floor is what's called a REM pod. It's not going to hurt you. Um, feel free to go over and touch it. If you go near it, you can make the lights go off. So feel free to go play with it. It's a good toy to play with. And where the green light is, if you go by that, that will also go from green to red. So if someone's in here, I want you to run in real quick, touch it, and run back out. My name's Steve. Mike's over there behind the camera. Oh. We have Dawn. Hold on. There's a shadow. I just saw it in the hallway. I saw something lean out when I leaned out into the hallway. Turn your light off. Can't turn it off. Let's see the hell out of me. Is there a servant over there? Could you come this way, please? We won't hurt you. Just want to talk. That's what I keep asking. Maybe it's someone else's equipment downstairs. No. Yeah, I got it too. I heard that. That's the second time I heard it. Yeah, me too. I asked you what it was. It's got to be a train. Guys, let's try it on downstairs. Cause... Shh, hold on a second. Wait. Can you um yeah, make that good. light over there right by those steps blink up by putting, touching it or putting your hand over it real close? Temperature is at dawn. 57.4, it's dropping. The meter's going to up. But I'm close to a window. Copy steps to make this rem pod come off. Make it go off. Go up, up the temperature. Yeah, it's up to the temperature. It's up to the It's getting warmer in here. And be very careful, my dear. Can I tell you something? So you just watch me walking first, so you're going to step on the camera. Okay, kids, come on in. Look at all these lights. There's no, nothing here that'll hurt you. Someone just laughed. And, and did someone just walk in, like, from in the door out? Is that you making that loud bang noise? I heard something that sounded kind of like a monster. Yeah, that's yeah. what it sounded like. I thought maybe down the stairs. Try again. All right, we're trying to make contact with who's ever in this house. If there's anybody in here, could you please come forward and give us some kind of a sign, whether it be a knock, move an object. Are you with us? Upstairs. It's upstairs. Wow. Well, would you come down here? <laughs> come down and say hi to us. <clears throat> we still probably psych her out a little bit. <laughs> sure. You know what? That's not the That's first not time. the first time. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna sound strange, but Walter, if you're here with us, can you make contact with the spirits of this mansion and ask them politely if they would like to come and speak with us? Come on, I wanna see you light them lights up on that chair over there. Come on, the camera should I? I just won't bang right in my ear. What, what, what'd you hear? Something just whispered in my left ear here. It was right on me. Well, what did it say? I don't know. It just whispered. What did you just say in my ear? Say it out loud. Look, we need your help here, okay? This place is going to be a museum. If you don't start showing yourself there, they're going to tear this place down. So if they tear it down, it's going to be your fault. So 
don't you just come out, show yourself, or say something? Is there anyone down here with us? Every time the PX talks, it produces a word on the screen so we can read it and see what it's saying. It says climb. It says climb, right. Okay. So if it talks more, I'll tell you what the words are. Okay? It's fine. Jim. Jim. I got the word name Jim. Jim Tin. <laughs> Jim Tin? <laughs> Jim is probably the name of the stuff. Change. Change what? Change the name back to Jim? Loving, okay, so. He's loving. Jim's very kind. I just got something. You marked that. What? It was a girl's voice. That's my girl. She said something right behind me here. I told you she's here. Right I would like her right now to give her name again, because I thought she told me it was Denise on the spirit box, but I can't be sure. So I'd love to know her name so I could address her. Did that just enough. <laughs> really? They don't yeah. like this. Is that on there? Let me yeah. see. Yeah. No, it came over the thing. Yeah. Enough what? You want me to shut this radio off? I oh, know. Can you see it on there? Uh, just go down a little better. Yep, enough. Right there. <laughs> Are we bothering you? Is this? What's she saying? That was a woman's voice. Yes, that's my dog. It sounded like please. Did you say please shut it off? Yes. 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 Shut it off. Shut it up. Be right, nice. I'm gonna shut it off for you. Thank you for coming through. It's probably annoying. I'm shutting it off. There you go. Sorry if we disturbed you. Thank you for coming through for us. Yeah, appreciate it. Um, I guess enough was enough. This drives people crazy. Yeah, it is. It's and then, as as you can see, it drives spirits crazy too. Yeah. That's... Okay. I turn the annoyer radio back on because you're not talking. Now, if you want me to shut it back off, you're gonna have to tell me shut it off. Does it say shut it off? It's gonna have to say it again because I didn't catch it. It sounded like shut off. Did it? it said I heard shut off. I'll leave this down here and play the whole night. Go ahead. <laughs> it sounded like it. Yeah, it said go ahead. I heard it through the real time. Leave. It Leave. Just say leave. Say leave. Oh, I thought it said see. I heard it right over here. No. It said leave. It wants us to go, buddy. On the third floor of the Selma Mansion, we're here with Katie, Maria, Kathy, and Mark. Come on, open up those doors. I saw you do it before. Do it one more time for me. That would make me really happy. We just want to know that you're here, that's all. Can you tap on something for us? Maybe on one of these doors or something? Were you a servant here? You want to try one of the other rooms, Kate? Yeah. Okay. the room, pod, Maria. Okay, here we are again. I think this is the service quarters, though. I'm close to a kid. You're close to a kid. I'm 16. That's kind of... Okay. Okay, I'm, I'm freaked out. Why? Because it'll keep going. As soon as I said I was a kid, that I was 16, it was just like... Mm -hmm. Can my foot that just tap do that? Me? I don't think so. No. Uh, Alright, um... If you go closer, you can light them all up. There's like red, I think, and blue. Yeah. Huh. You touch that antenna hanging up from it. It likes you. Yes. Hey, can you stop? That's gonna stop. There's no can way that just right, like banging stop. would do that. Can you walk towards what is that a monkey over there? Yeah. Can you walk towards the monkey? The monkey? If you really do like Maria, stop that. Can I leave now? No. There you go. Huh. See I did I'm I'm trying to I'll ask you to do Can you light it up again? Are you 16 too? If you are, go buy it and light it up. Ooh. Make me pee my pants. <laughs> Were 
were you a servant? Are you the child of a servant? Oh. Oh. Okay. <laughs> That's a big resounding yes. I'm gonna come stand by it. Does this bother you? You're blocking it. See? Oh my god. You're blocking you're it. You're making me scared. You're blocking it, Katie. Oh my god! You're in his oh path. Oh my god, I'm scared. Go back again and see if it stops it. Katie's in his path. <laughs> I don't even understand how scared I am. Really? Hey. Yeah, why? Oh, this is great. Would that be? Do it again, try again. Stay there for at least 10 seconds and then go, because I want to see. All right, try and move. I'm getting like the people outside or then. No, they're downstairs. Oh my God! Is there anything that could be triggering that? No, it would have done it from the moment you. It would have done it the whole time. So it makes it seem like that um, something's like standing over there and you're blocking yeah. it. Yeah. I wonder how far back I have to go before it works again. Go ahead. Go. Go back more. Then it's right there in the middle, so you're, it's like right there. When you stand there, there you're on, you're in it. You're you're on top of it, in it. It's gonna get mad, Katie. All yeah. right, he moved. Please, oh my God, I'm Maybe scared. Maybe he's coming down. It's all right. He's coming down by his friend Maria, or her friend Maria. We have a friend. Oh, yeah. Scared. Maybe How it's cool is that? Okay, the room. We know we have something crazy going on right the now. Room, all right, I'm gonna here. The room directly straight to this wall is where the Rampart was going off before. Right, we got something really, really cool going on right now. Nothing to go off. It, I stood there for, they said, stand there for about 10 seconds. I, here it goes. Oh. I don't get it. They're back. Watch, let me see if it'll work again. I don't get it. Maybe he moved from a different spot or she. Go moved. over there. Well, it's moved a little bit. Go, go all the way around. It's like it moved a little. Exactly. I was facing right. the side yet. Okay, it's blocking it there. All right, come over here. Yeah, he moved a little bit. He's like inching go closer. Go over there, Katie. Where? Over there. All right. There you go. See? Stand by me now. Maybe. See, now your friend Maria's there. Katie, why don't you move out completely? Let Maria just stay there. See if it gets anything. R really? What? Now you stay there. Oh. I'm scared. Oh boy. It's all right. Can you come stand by me? That's a movie. Yes, it yeah, is. Yeah, but I don't know if you're close enough that it'll set it off. I'm not. It's not coming off right now, is it? No. Like it stood by you. You gotta get closer to it. Okay. Closer. Like you stand right in front of it. Okay. Can you come by me? <laughs> Oh, okay, <laughs> <laughs> Maria, this is cool. No, it's not. Maria. Can you stop that now? You have a new best friend. Can you stop that? What? It's for us. Maria, this is great. All right, you go block again, then we'll try. It doesn't That's want scary. Katie. It doesn't, this is one of the rare times where it doesn't like Katie. Okay, now it's moved again. Could be doing that. No, I scared it away. All right, let me try. Your turn. Then. All right, can you come sit? Stay there. It likes Maria. It, it likes Maria. I'm about to pee my pants. It likes you. So why am I standing here? Because this is what we want. It's not what I want. I'm Do you know scared. how many investigations and not get anything like this? Yeah, really. He really likes her. This is awesome. Can you stop that now? Can you make it stop? Can you come over here by me? Can you come walk over here by me? 
and then yeah, put it by Maria and see if we can get it to go off again. Can you come sit by me on the windowsill? You could come sit by me or stand, whichever you prefer. We're not going to be up here much longer. Maria's going to be leaving. If you want her to stay, you have to tell her. Yeah, come sit by me, please. If you don't, she's going to leave. Wow. <laughs> Was that crazy or what? From the cabinet door in the kids' room that opened up on its own to all them crazy EVPs, this place is just loaded with activity. <laughs> And that's why we'll be back next week for part two of the Selma Mansion. We couldn't fit it all into one episode. <laughs> We'd like to thank our friends, Pups, for the fantastic paranormal journey they brought us through in the Selma Mansion. And also Pima, who showed up on that day. And Detective Vincent would like to commend Maria Christopher from GAR High School on her paranormal senior project. Congrats, Maria. <laughs> And don't forget, on January 21st, Ghost Detectives will be having an open house ghost hunt in Kreskyville, PA at the Mansion House. Go to www.ghostdetectives.tv to find out more details about this. And from me to you, Detective Vincent would like to say, have a happy, healthy new year. <laughs> See you next week. I'm Ghost Detectives! <laughs> <laughs>